Hello, in this topic we are going to discuss about angle between radius vector and tangent. So let us say we are on a plane here with the x axis and the y axis. Now let us say that P is a point on the curve C. Let us name this curve as C, where C will be a polar curve so that will be r equal to function of theta also this p can be written as r theta if you are talking about a polar coordinate system now this op will make let's say an angle of theta with our initial line that is actually our x axis so angle x o p will be theta this point P is R theta, the curve C is R equal to F of theta. Also, we have drawn a tangent to this curve at point P that is PL. So, this PL is actually tangent. Let us say that it is making an angle of psi with the positive x axis. So, as we have to measure the angle between the radius vector and tangent, let us say this angle, this is that angle, let us say this is actually phi. Now overall in this diagram, we can say that we can also consider the same point P in Cartesian coordinate like x and y where x will be r cos theta which we have already seen in the previous video also and y will be r sin theta. So now if we have to find the derivative of this PL that is the tangent this will be something like this derivative of the tangent. This is going to be tan of psi that is what it is making with the x-axis equal to dy by dx. Now since we have already seen that both x and y are function of theta and this r will also be a function of theta for the polar curve. So overall we can say that we will have tan chi equal to dy over d theta over dx over d theta. So this will be d of r sin theta over d theta and d r cos theta over t theta. Now since both r and sin theta and cos theta are all function of theta so we will follow product rule and we can say that we will have differentiating r let us say it is r dash considering that r dash is actually d r by d theta. So r dash times of sin theta plus differentiating sin theta keeping r as it is r times of cos theta. In the denominator we will have again r dash cos theta and if you differentiate cos theta this is going to be minus of sin theta. So let us say this is minus r sin theta. Now one more thing which we can do is possibly dividing everything like the numerator and denominator by let us say r dash cos theta. So this tan of psi will come out to be something like r dash by r cos theta by r dash cos theta plus r dash sin theta by r dash cos theta. Again we will have minus of r sin theta by r dash cos theta plus r dash cos theta by r dash cos theta like that. So this will actually give us r by r dash plus tan theta over minus of r by r dash tan theta 
and this is going to be plus 1. The reason is this thing gets completely cancelled. For this r dash get cancelled and for this sin theta by cos theta will become tan theta and cos theta cos theta gets cancelled. So this is what we are getting and if you want we can rearrange this and write this as tan psi equal to r by r dash plus tan theta by let's say this is 1 minus r by r dash tan theta. So let us go back to the diagram and see something a relation between these three angles. We can see that for triangle OPL this angle psi is actually exterior angle. So we can say that as per the property of the triangles psi will actually be theta plus phi and with this relation we can say that tan of psi which will be tan of theta plus phi can be given as tan of phi plus tan of theta by 1 minus tan of phi and tan of theta. So all we have to do is compare these two expressions and we can clearly see that tan phi is something r by r dash and here also you can cross check that tan phi will be r by r dash considering that tan theta is already given here. So with this we can say that we have got the expression for tan phi and that is actually tan phi equal to r by r dash. Now this r dash was actually dr by d theta from the polar curve. So we can say this is r by dr by d theta. We can make the arrangements and say that tan of phi will be r times of d theta by dr and if possibly we can also write this as cot of phi like after reversing this we'll have 1 by r times of dr by d theta. So this is actually the angle between the tangent and the radius vector. So these are the expressions which we have to conclude. So this was all about the topic of angle between radius vector and tangent. I hope you understood. Thank you.